So we're now going to take a little bit more time uh, to actually analyse that footage. And we're doing this through Coach's Eye, which is just an easy uh, to apply app on your phone. Uh, and we're going to look at the Quade Cooper example because we have a couple of different angles. And so as we watch essentially the ball come out to Quade, who's got the ball now, uh, he steps off his right foot. It's hard to see in this footage, I understand, and we're going to mark the footage, but he steps off his right foot there. Um, so that's actually the point of impact there. There's not a player around him, obviously. And then from there, uh, he has pain and then and falls to the ground. If we fast forward it uh, through, then we can actually get a better understanding um, through the camera angles as to what's actually occurred. Um, and this is probably a good angle here where we can actually draw some footage. So as we watch, um, remembering that it's his right leg, he goes to plant his right leg on the ground. And as he does so, if uh, if we can add some, some fancy lines, we'll notice that obviously the line of his femur here is actually internally rotating um, and by sheer nature of, of the position that his legs in his his tibia uh, is actually sorry his femur is actually internally rotating and his tibia is actually externally rotating and obviously that creates a sort of a fulcrum of force here on the medial knee so obviously we we watch our MCL would be the thing that tore first um, and, uh, and and probably medial meniscus obviously because that MCL is connected to the medial meniscus and then subsequently as a result um, his ACL actually goes at that point. So we again we can watch it uh, from a different angle um, as we watch the player sort of fall to the ground. There's another angle that we can actually watch um, which is a camera at the end of the field so again we're watching his right leg plants on the ground there. Obviously there's there's no contact. Um, knowing about the mechanism of injury, we're actually watching and you can just see it, that small movement there. And if we kind of zoom in a little bit on the player, we can see the moment there where the leg plants, he has a shift of his body weight to step off that leg. And it's at that point there where we are watching that femur internally rotate while the uh, the tibia externally rotates. Um, and obviously the medial knees, the, the fulcrum. And and so, and that's, I, I guess, as you can sort of see that knee rotate in and out, the uh, the biomechanics that we need to um, to be able to understand, uh, to understand this injury. Now, with programs like the one that we're using, we're able to slow the footage down and get a better understanding of what would be the, the mechanism of injury and what's injured. Um, and so subsequently we can bias our tests then when we run on the field. Now, the difficulty is it's easy on a phone like we're doing at the moment to actually look at that and get an understanding of what we're looking at. Um, I guess an on-field physio has to see it in real time and to see that injury in real time and in the moment that they see it to when they run onto the player, they have to have formulated an objective examination that either rules the ACL in or out. Now, the a I choose the ACL because it's got some fairly significant, robust tests that we can do on field. Um, but I also use the ACL because it has quite significant implications if you get those tests or wrong um, or if you're unable to uh, to do the test properly. So the idea of, of this uh, practical session that we're going to sort of build upon is your better understanding of what the mechanics are in the body and being able to visualize those biomechanics uh, and understand the structures that are involved, um, not just to perform an, an objective test like we are in this instance um, in, in sort of an on-field capacity, but also to, uh, to essentially work out which muscles may be overworking or underworking so that we can formulate an exercise program and plan to address those issues.